Okay, so um, I, I did have religious education, and, uh, and I think the thing that turned me into an atheist, um, <laughs> or to not be religious, let's say, not, I didn't, I stopped going to services, was because uh, it was the story of Abraham and Isaac, yeah. right? This is the one where God gets sick of lamb, <laughs> and he asks his son Isaac, uh, I mean, he, 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 God asks Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac as a test of faith. And the lesson that we were told we're supposed to get from this is that Abraham had perfect faith and he was willing to do it, and therefore God was good and he gave a break and he didn't have to. <laughs> Which is all very good for Abraham. But meanwhile, Isaac is in the support group for ritual abuse survivors. <laughs> <laughs> My other favorite story was uh, is Job. Right now, this is a very interesting story. Um, basically, what happens is um, God and Satan get together. You know, they did kind of regularly, and um, and Satan says to God, and I'm paraphrasing here, um, God. Job doesn't really like you. God's like, yes, he does. He totally loves me. And Satan says, no, he doesn't. Why don't you do something really shitty to him and see if he still likes you? God's like, okay, I will. And so uh, God says to Satan, hey, do whatever you want. You know, just don't hurt him. So, um, so Satan kills all of Job's animals, all his crops, uh, all of his children, um, slaves, all of that. And uh, and Job still likes him, and God's to Satan. See, he still loves me. And Satan says, "Well, okay. Well, why don't you just like hurt him and see if he still likes you?" And God's like, "Okay." And God says, "Okay, do whatever you want to, but don't, don't kill him, because then I won't know if I won the bet." And uh, <laughs> so then he gives him boils and lesions and herpes and whatever. And then. Um, and all of Job's friends and his wife are like, Job, you got to leave him. And Job says, but I love him. So basically, Job is your classic battered woman. Right? And um, Satan is the drinking buddy. And God is OJ. <laughs> or, or Phil Spector, or Mark, you know, Charlie Sheen, or half the NFL, whatever. You know, fill in your own. <laughs> That's my little Super Bowl joke. Okay. <laughs> so um, I just want to point out that you know what? I mean, Jane says like the Bible. It's it's a uh, it's a modern thing. You just kind of have to. So I just want to say interpret something like when God said be fruitful and multiply, there were only two people. <laughs> so I think that that doesn't apply anymore. That's all I'm trying to say. And now I don't have any children. But uh, I married. Um, I married a man because it's legal. <laughs> now they like to do things that are legal. I married a man and I take prescription drugs. But I think the reason that some people are opposed to gay marriage is just fear. It's just fear of the millions of Mexican lesbians who are going to come here for green cards. <laughs> so we don't have kids, but um, I always, always wanted to give birth to kittens, because I figured it would hurt less. <laughs> and then when you're done, you'd have kittens. <laughs> and people have litters these days, they do. There's Octo Mom, who's really a Torse Mom. <laughs> Maybe that's all my Spanish. Um, <laughs> No, but with her, suddenly people are thinking, hmm, maybe it's not such a good idea. But I've been on to this since the McCoy septuplets. Do you remember them? Yeah. Remember the first septuplets, the seven that all lived? Yeah. I hated them. Not the babies. I, I, I didn't have an issue with the babies. I, I had an issue with the parents. Because you know, they were so self-righteous. They kept saying in the press, God really wanted us to have these seven babies. <laughs> no. No, God didn't want you to have any. That's why you were infertile. <laughs> it was Pfizer wanted you to have those babies. <laughs> Do you know the FDA just approved, <laughs> speaking of Pfizer, they just approved a new, uh, basically a Viagra for women. This is true. 
They did, and I just have to say I have zero faith in this product. <laughs> because I have never, ever been able to achieve an erection. <laughs> I have <laughs> see that change in any time. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are awesome. So I, I'm just going to do a, another quick impression. Uh, no, it's not quick, it's really long, it's like 40 minutes, but um, I'm teasing you. Um, this is uh, another one of God's preachers, the squirrel. Thank <laughs> you. 